With the popularity and rise of Node.js and Node.js tools, some of those are making their way into the Django atmosphere. Unfortunately, some of those tools aren't necessarily easy to install and configure with Node.js being a requirement. However, using a tool called Node.env, you can have a virtual env-like functionality for dealing with Node, as well as the ability to integrate Node.env into your virtual environment so that you can run Node and Django side by side without any issues and it be all self-contained into a single virtual environment. To get started though, we're going to take a look at Node.env and how you can use it to just do Node.js stuff. Then we'll take a look how to use it side by side with virtual env. So the first thing to do is to install Node.env. Since I'm going to install this without being in a virtual environment, I need to do a sudo easy install of Node.env. I already have it installed, so that it'll just make things go a little quicker. First thing we're going to do is show you how to use virtual env, which you're used to. Just create a new environment. Then we'll activate our new environment doing a source myenv bin activate. From there, we install Django. And we see that it's actually running. And then again, we see if we deactivate it that Django admin it doesn't work. This is the exact same way that node-env works. So if we'll do node-env, create a new node environment, a my node environment, it'll install node.js, in this case 10.33. Once that's done, we just activate it with a source my node-env bin activate. We can check our version of node and check our version of npm as well. We can see they're both installed. From there we can do an npm install of some global packages and after that's installed you can see that coffee is at version 1.8 can also to go a little step further install node or install express generator and we can create a new express app and we just take that next step to install the dependencies and then try to run it if we'll open it up in our browser we can see we have a new express app running with node.js so now that we've actually done some stuff with Node, let's actually see about doing stuff side by side with our virtual environment. So if we'll activate our environment or for our virtual environment and do a pip install of Node.env, then go the next step and do Node.env hyphen p. What this does is it attaches a Node environment that you would normally do. It just attaches it to your vir current virtual environment that Node.env is installed into. You can see the appending data too. If you look at the end, you'll see myenv bin activate, which is the virtual environment that we're using. And as you can see, we have installed because we're going into the REPL. We're doing version 10.33 again. And if we do which node, again, it's in the myenv bin node. So from there, we can do some global installs again. We can do CoffeeScript. And we can see that we're at version 1.8. And then if we deactivate, you can see coffee doesn't work. And then just to show everything's working again, we activate our virtual environment and we see that we're using Django 1.7 and Node side by side. So this makes dealing with Node.js and other things in the Node ecosystem a lot easier. In a future video, we're going to go over using different Node packages to help us with our Django development. Some of the things you might do is Use Gulp for your asset compilation of your front end code. And that's actually going to be in the next video. This is a good starting point for several things that we're going to go over in upcoming videos dealing with using Node ecosystem packages with our Django projects.